there, deep divers. Buckle up, because today we're diving headfirst into a topic that's been, well, let's just say it's been buzzing around for a while. UAPs. Unidentified aerial phenomena. It's a big one, that's for sure. It really is. And you know what's got me particularly fired up today? You sent over these excerpts from UAP Disclosure, the AI verdict, and the title alone, well, it kind of speaks for itself, doesn't it? But what's got me really intrigued is this whole idea of artificial intelligence being the key to finally cracking the code on UAPs. See, that's what's so fascinating about this book. It dives right into the heart of the mystery. But it doesn't just throw AI at the problem like it's some magic solution. It lays out this really compelling historical context first. We're talking Roswell, of course, which everybody knows. But there was also this other event, the Belgian Ways, back in 89 and 90. Hundreds of people, credible witnesses, reporting these triangular UAPs. Hold on, the Belgian Wave. I gotta admit, that one's new to me. What made it so, I don't know, believable? Well, it was the sheer scale of it, for one thing. It wasn't just some blurry photos or shaky videos. These were everyday people, including police officers, all reporting these silent, low-flying triangular craft, and get this, the Belgian Air Force, they even got radar confirmations. Wow, okay, that's pretty hard to ignore. So we've got this history of like, okay, we've seen things, and then the book is saying, hold my drink, here comes AI to shake things up. It's like AI is the new sheriff in town, right? Mm. And think about it, for decades, we've been relying on humans to analyze this often limited blurry data, but now we have AI, which, let's face it, is already revolutionizing everything from healthcare to, you know, predicting the weather. And it can process information at speeds we can't even fathom. So we're talking about giving Sherlock Holmes a supercomputer and saying, go nuts, figure out these UAPs. Basically. And that's exactly what the book digs into, the how of it all. It breaks down how AI can analyze radar data, eyewitness accounts, you name it. Yeah, because eyewitness accounts, those are usually the first things to get dismissed as unreliable, right? Exactly. Yeah. But what if there's a way to use AI to analyze those accounts for, like linguistic patterns or inconsistencies, maybe even micro expressions in video testimonies? It's like having this truth-seeking algorithm that can cut through the noise and figure out which sightings might actually be the real deal. It's like, okay, instead of just saying, oh, that's interesting or that's weird, we can actually start to say, okay, how weird exactly? And what does that tell us about what we don't know? Hmm. It's like, we're not just looking at the UAPs anymore. We're looking at our own understanding of the universe. It's like holding a mirror up to our own knowledge, yeah. right? And maybe, just maybe, what we see will surprise us. So we've got AI analyzing data like a champ. But this is where it gets really interesting, right? Because the book doesn't just stop at analyzing what we already know. It goes a step further. It really does. The book dots headfirst into the idea of using AI to simulate UAP behavior. And, well, let's just say it's a game changer. Oh, wait, hold on. Back up a second. Simulate. As in, create a virtual UAP and tell it, all right, go be all physics defying. Pretty much. Imagine feeding an AI system everything we know or think we know about how these things move. Eyewitness accounts, radar data, those blurry videos everyone loves. Then you try to recreate those insane accelerations, sudden stops, right angle turns, all that good stuff. But how do you even begin to simulate something that, as far as we know, shouldn't be able to exist? Well, that's the million dollar question, isn't it? And what's so brilliant about the book is that it suggests that even if the simulations aren't perfect, even if we can't quite make the virtual UAP do exactly what the real ones seem to be doing, those failures, those discrepancies, those are actually incredibly valuable because they highlight the gaps in our understanding. So it's like saying to the AI, OK, try to make this thing fly like that using only the physics we understand. And if it can't, well, that tells us we're missing something. Exactly. It's like trying to understand how a combustion engine works by building simulations with, I don't know, horses and chariots might not get a working car, but you'll learn a lot about the limits of horsepower in the process. Okay, I'm starting to see where you're going with this, but let's shift gears for a moment and talk about David Grush, the former intelligence officer. He's the one who really threw a wrench into the works with his testimony about the UAP retrieval program, right? I mean, that's some next level stuff. It really is. And the book does a great job of highlighting the role of whistleblowers like Grush in all of this. Whether you believe his specific claims or not, his testimony, along with others like it, adds a whole new layer of complexity. It's not just about blurry lights in the sky anymore. It's about potential government cover-ups, secret reverse engineering programs, and a whole lot of unknowns. And this is where things get really interesting from an AI perspective, right? Because if there is something to these claims, AI could be the key to uncovering the truth. 
Absolutely. Imagine using AI to analyze, say, historical data for anomalies that might back up some of these claims. Things like budgets, personnel records, even something as mundane as material requisitions. You start looking for those needles in the haystack, those subtle hints that something extraordinary might have been going on. It's like we're talking about being digital detectives, except on a global scale, with AI as our partner in crime solving. So let me ask you this, because this is the big question, isn't it? What if, after all the analysis, the simulations, the digging through data, what if AI helps us prove definitively that we're not alone, that these UAPs are, in fact, extraterrestrial? That's the big one, right. And the book doesn't shy away from the potential implications of such a discovery. Well, for starters, it would fundamentally change everything we think we know about our place in the universe, our science, our philosophy, our religions, even our understanding of ourselves, it would all be up for grabs. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. Think about the geopolitical implications, the impact on international relations, even something as simple as our individual sense of identity. It's a lot to wrap our heads around. So we've gone from like, you know, grainy photos of lights in the sky to AI building virtual UAPs in a computer program. It's yeah. a lot to take in. It really is. And I think that's what makes this book so thought provoking. It doesn't just throw out these wild ideas about UAPs and AI. It really grapples with what all of this means for us, you know, as humans. Like, are we ready for this? It's like, what happens if we find out for sure that we're not alone? It's both exciting and kind of terrifying at the same time. Exactly. And the book doesn't shy away from the potential downsides of all this either, especially when it comes to AI. Right, because as much as AI can help us uncover the truth, it could also be misused, right? Like, what's to stop someone from using it to create even more confusion and misinformation? That's the big question, isn't it? And it's something the book addresses head on. It argues that we need to be thinking about the ethical implications of AI from the get-go. Transparency is key. Data privacy. We can't just let these technologies run wild without any safeguards. So it's not just about building a better algorithm. It's about building a better future, one where we're using AI responsibly to help us understand the universe and our place in it. Precisely. And that's what I find so compelling at this whole topic. It's not just about UAPs. It's about us, our potential, our responsibility, and the choices we make as we venture further into the unknown. You know, it's funny, we started this deep dive talking about UAPs, but it feels like we've stumbled onto something much bigger, much more profound. I'd have to agree with you there. It's like we're on the verge of something truly groundbreaking, a new understanding of ourselves and the universe we inhabit. And AI, it's like the key that might just uh, unlock it all. Well, on that note, I think we've given our listeners a lot to chew on today. A big thank you to you for, well, for taking this deep dive with us. And to our listeners, thank you for tuning in. We hope this has sparked your curiosity and maybe even left you with a few more questions than answers. As a final thought, if AI can help us understand something as seemingly impossible as UAPs, what other mysteries might it help us solve? Could it be the key to understanding consciousness, the very essence of what makes us human? It's a question worth pondering as we head into this new era of exploration and discovery.